Hello and welcome. My name is Meepolis and this is Literally Graphic. And today is another old favorite book that I wanted to pull back out and revisit, for better or for worse. Beautiful Darkness it was written by Fabian Villman, illustrated by the pseudonym Kerascote, and translated from French to English by Helg Dasher. Originally published in 2009 by Dupuis in France and republished in English by the Canadian publisher Drawn and Quarterly in 2014, I content warning violent imagery. As indicated by the original language, the author is in fact French. Fabian Vilman has also written such books as Isle of 100,000 Graves, Satania, Green Manor 2, The Inconvenience of Being Dead, and Last Days of an Immortal among others, none of which I've read, so I can't comment. The artist, however, is not literally a singular individual named Kerascote. It's actually a husband and wife team named Maria Pompoy and Sebastian Cosette. According to their bio, they didn't want to have their names take up so much space on everything, so they decided to name themselves after Maria's parents' village in Brittany. They have also apparently done some writing for children's books, but the other books I've read that they've illustrated and I should re-review are the series Miss Don't Touch Me, and apparently not another book that I thought they did do. They also did wor a work entitled Beauty that is apparently on my TBR. As mentioned in my original review, which is still up on Goodreads, the official synopsis of this book is uh, pretty pretentious. Karis Goats and Fabian Vilman's unsettling and gorgeous anti-fairy tale is a searing condemnation of our vast capacity for evil writ tiny. Join Princess Aurora and her friends as they journey to civilization's Heart of Darkness, in a bleak allegory about surviving the human experience. The sweet faces and bright leaves of Carrasco's delicate watercolor serve to highlight the evil that dwells beneath. Vellman's story as pettiness, greed, and jealousy take over. Beautiful Darkness is a harrowing look behind the routine politeness and meaningless kindness of civilized society. Think the attempt to insinuate that humanity is generally as evil as the characters in this book never sat well with me, but I did rate it five stars, so maybe I did agree. I certainly don't agree now. A pretty deeply unsettling book, I would count Beautiful Darkness as part of the cure horror genre, so that's really only to be expected and not necessarily a critique. There's definitely a lot of character death and the centerpiece for most of the story is a girl's corpse. How she died, we don't appear to know, although it likely involves the other human man. I think the most enjoyable part, part of the book for me is the way it subverts all the cutesy sort of tiny people stories I grew up on. Example, The Borrowers. Also, I guess the rescuers. Also, the art is amazing. Five stars. On the other hand, my main critique of the comic is that I really don't think it's an honest look at the entirety of human existence, which I think can be full of so much positive. Obviously, the focus is on the evil of humanity, but I feel like even that doesn't necessarily have to be so insurmountable as what's presented. I think, to be more precise, the sort of helplessness is really most prevalent only when we are uncompromisingly individualistic. AKA, this book suffers from a lack of imagination beyond the neoliberal. No one in the story willingly cooperates or even seems to really like each other. Quite literally, might makes right, which is still amusingly odd when wrapped in such a sweet art style, but not as demonstrably true as the synopsis seems to indicate. As far as gender representation in this comic, my impression is that the majority of characters are female identifying. That said, that does mean that the tale of backstab after backstab, especially when it comes to the top dog villain, uh, comes across as more than a little catty. I always feel a bit defensive about men's writing female cattiness, but I'm not sure it's a 100% I would die on the hill for it idea, although I do generally have a 
be suspicious of almost anything policy. Everyone is white. The only romance is heterosexual. Class is, at least surprisingly, not addressed at all. Well, I st still did enjoy some parts of this book. Have you seen the art? On further reflection and personal development, my original review did come out in 2015. I will be knocking this book down a few stars to Goodreads. I liked it. Three stars. Bye you all and keep reading and resist the fascism. And as always, I would like to acknowledge that for the most part, all of my videos are filmed and produced on the traditional territory of the Mississaugas of the Reddit, Anishinaabe people, the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, and the Huron-Wendat Nation, land covered by the dish with one spoon, wampum belt covenant.